Hey guys, it's Nelson with iOS SoftModder and today I'm going to show you how to disable the control center on your lock screen and applications. Uh, with iOS 7, one of the newest features, which is one of my favorite features, probably the favorite feature, is the control center. So taking a bite from Android, it allows you to easily access all like the big uh, settings that usually you would have to go to set, uh, you would have to click on the settings app here and like access uh, access through here uh, which was kind of annoying having to like toggle Wi-Fi um, Bluetooth all that stuff but now it's all here uh, you know you can uh, the flashlight uh, selecting music the brightness the brightness is probably the best thing that's here because I always change the brightness when my phone's dying so so that's there um, but it can become annoying sometimes if you don't want it in during inside of applications like say for example Twitter when you click on an external link let's say this one this down here is harder to access so I put that down and I want to how do I put it back up and it brings this up so uh, if you want to disable it I'll show you how go to settings then you just go to control center and when it says access within apps just turn that off and you'll see that it doesn't even open up here w with it on it does open as you can see then you turn it off it doesn't open you head over to Twitter and there you go. No other, not the control center not popping up. Um, if you can also disable it on the lock screen. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. With the lock screen, you can, there it is, very easy. So now I'm going to disable it. And there's no way to access it now. That way, people, you know, they might not mess with it, someone that's a, a friend or something, and it won't be on there. And sometimes people accidentally bring up the control center instead of the camera because the camera's down here too. So you might not, uh, that way you won't uh, accidentally bring up the control center. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at iOS Software. Thanks.